Hi guys, um, I'm Sedule Bukwage. I'm a third year medical student at Wirtz University, University of the Good Butters brand. <laughs> um, I actually got in through the graduate entry medical program, which is also called GIMP. So I'm currently doing GIMP 1, which is third year. It's my first year basically because I'm coming from another university. So you guys, previously I did a BSc degree. Um, it was a BSc in Biochemistry and Microbiology. There's no specific degrees that are needed. On my third year of my degree, I applied um, to study at Fritz through this program. But I actually um, applied as a first year. I, I didn't know about this program until the very last moment i think the closing dates was already due it was like over already and then i sent them an email asking to get into the program but automatically i i, I kind of think they they would have told me later on if i didn't follow up that they will get me into the graduates program so i did follow up and then i got an email um, it was actually an invitation to write the, the WIT, which is the uh, the WIT additional placement test, which is also a test that I'll be talking about um, to get into the program. Per se. So when I applied to WIT, um, I did like the normal applications. It was online. I uploaded my documents and then I paid the fee and then I got in, an invitation as I just told you guys. And then after that, I started preparing for the WIT after they told me. I think the applications were around June, May, June. And they, at, at the end of June, like even this year, the applications ended on the 30th of June. So after that, I then followed up because there was the time when I got uh, knowledge or information. <laughs> I got information about the WIT and then I followed up. So I started preparing for the WIT, I think it was in so June, July, end of July, but still it, it wasn't like I was studying, I was still collecting the information. Like there are three different papers or different worksheets, I say worksheets, but like different objective papers. So objectives are like questions, I want to say questions that you might be asked on the on the exam the wet so the objectives they tell you the things that you have to have covered before you write the exam so the exam is usually written by september yes i wrote mine on the 30th, 13th of september so it's a day i'll never forget you guys i wrote it last year which is 2019 last year yeah last year so I, I was thinking there that i have to write i have to like make another video specifically on how to study for the wit i know guys i'm i'm dragging this <laughs> i'm dragging this you know what let me just talk about the wit right so the wit is um an exam i want to say an exam because for me actually when i say test i take it for granted it's like it's a test but if it's like an exam it gives it that thing that it's important, you know. So, I'm going to say exam. Don't get, don't get confused. I'm just going to say exam. So, when I wrote the, when I went there to write the exam, I actually had prepared because I got into this group, the Simon group. Simon is amazing, guys. And the other tutors, like, they helped me prepare for the WIT. So, they told me that there were three sections on the WIT. There's anatomy, there's physiology, and there's molecular medicine. So, you have to prepare for each section because on the three hours that you have for the WIT, for the exam, you write three different papers. It's like three different sections, but they give you three different papers. You get it? The other paper is for anatomy, the other one for physiology, and the other one is for molecular medicine. And you have to complete all three papers in the three hours. So... This is how it works. 
you can do well like really well for anatomy i mean like you could be on the 90s and for physiology he's on the 90s or the 80s and maybe for molecular medicine get um 50 49 you see actually you guys you failed if you got those marks <laughs> even though you are in the high 90s for both the sections of physiology and anatomy and then got 50 percent or 59 or whatever you have to get 60 percent for all three sections in order to pass the exam as a whole passing the other sections uh extremely well and then failing one you actually fail everything you have to pass everything in total like if you have to get 60s just get 60 60 60 don't like focus on one section and then don't study the other because you're putting yourself at risk like <laughs> you're not gonna get in make sure that you study and i did tell you guys i will make a video on how to study for the wet right so i wrote the wet um it was it was like i don't want to think about it you guys <laughs> There were so many people there, like, oh my god. And, okay, so I actually went with my friend, um, with a guy, a friend of mine. We did the same degree when I, when I was in the other university. It was Monga, yeah. So I went with this Monga, but we went separately. I came, I went to Joburg three days before the, the, the exam. And then he came in um, the night before. So he was traveling, he was traveling the night before and he arrived at the morning of the exam so i met him there i met him on the on the venue and then we were kind of like motivating each other you know but like not too much because we were nervous i mean like it's a bit guys <laughs> it's a bit and it's medicine and oh my god i kind of felt like i did so much when preparing for the whips but still i felt like there were things that I didn't do. I mean, like, guys, let's be honest. When you guys see the objective worksheets, trust me, you're not going to finish everything. You have to prioritize. Well, I did most of the things and the other things that I didn't do. I kind of like thought, what if <laughs> those questions come out and I didn't like really study them? Well, I did everything, but I didn't do everything in detail and I, I didn't get time to repeat everything. You know, when I study... I kind of like repeat things to make sure that it sticks when i've studied th a, a thing like once guys it it doesn't stick well so i have to repeat it so what actually happened is when we were there people were talking about sections they studied sections they didn't study so there was when this i had not arrived i was alone i kind of had a hoodie i was wearing a hoodie it was just <laughs> oh my god so you guys when i'm wearing a hoodie it's like my depression time when i'm like depressed or anxious or whatever i just want to wear a hoodie and put on um uh, the hood so that you know i'll be i'll be comforted you know so yeah guys i i was alone i put it on my headsets i listened to sabrina you know she's calming and jay i was i was I was trying to motivate myself and not get um, disappointed or anxious or whatever. I just wanted to to kind of give myself peace and tell myself that, you know what? You've done a lot. You've done enough. And this is your thing. You're here to pass this thing. You've prepared well. So, Jay, pass it. So, I, I, I wanted that thing. I didn't want anyone... To, to talk about the sections that I, I did not get time to, 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 to study again. So, yeah. You guys, so I kind of like... I was like, end the paper. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't get that negativity. You know, a lot of people, when they, they go there, they meet new people. And it's almost like it's nice meeting new people. But when you're going to write the web, it's not, it's not really nice. I mean, I like meeting new people. But... The only thing that you guys are going to talk about is the wit and how much you haven't studied and how much that person had studied and the degree that person has done. Maybe they, they, they did anatomy or physiology as their degree and you kind of like feel threatened because 
you're actually competing with these people well it's indirectly but you're competing with these people to get in i mean they were like i don't know maybe more than two thousand people that actually were there on the whole whole 29 oh my god whole 29 ah ah things happened today things happened so there were like a lot of people and i think if i'm not mistaken they only needed 75 people from there are nine vet students and they wanted 75 students that were from vets so you know guys guys from 2000 or 2000 and more people and then you're competing with these people if a person tells you that they're doing that degree that you guys are about to write i'm like <laughs> you kind of feel like it decreases your chance to get in so guys make sure that you don't I'm not saying don't don't socialize but minimize talking about the weight because it brings in a lot of anxiety and and negativity and you might feel like you haven't studied a lot or you haven't done enough because guys believe believe in the process because like you only have yourself if you don't believe I mean during the exam who's gonna tell you to th that you did well that you that you you did well in preparing you know what i mean <laughs> so you have to protect yourself protect yourself protect yourself and make sure that you still have that positive energy when you're going to that hole so yeah guys that's it and then i want to talk about the requirements to get in i'm so sorry i just i, I went on about the weights it kind of like i felt like it's like the most important thing because you can prepare for the other components like um the marks and everything prior to applying to get into you know to medicine at first at third year and stuff like that so i felt like that's more important preparing for the whip but i'm still gonna talk about the whip on my other video um on how to prepare for the whip so guys please 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 make sure that you watch that video <laughs> i'll be saying a lot of things so guys um about the requirements to get into WIPT, um, I mean to get into to GIMP, you have to to have like a degree, like obviously you have to have a degree. And then you have to have certain modules, can I say modules, yeah. You have to have certain modules like biology, uh, one year of biology has to be like a full course. You have to have six months of physics and six months of chemistry. and these modules you have to have done them in your first year or your first year level you know what i mean so um, i know that right now you're like what if i didn't do that in my degree no guys it's fine if you don't have those modules as part of your degree package you can do these courses like at another accredited university in south africa or wherever you know so i know people that have done these courses separately after the degree you can do it like at UNISA, you know, it's, it's not that, it's not like, guys, you can do it and then get in. So yeah, you have to have those, those, those modules. Um, you have to have like an average of 75% uh, on your, your, on your degree. Um, that's like the minimum requirement, if I'm not mistaken. You have to have like 75% as a minimum to get in. So yeah make sure that you get you have that and then guys if you don't you might be missing a, a point or two points or you know whatever you can actually listen to this you can actually upgrade your points ask me how okay so i'm gonna tell you <laughs> so they actually take the last two years of your degree they add those marks and then they divide it by the number of modules that you have so if you ha you only have like a bsc degree like how i do um, they will take my second year and my third year and then divide it by the number of modules that i did on those two years so that's my average but if i did an honors degree they'll take my third year marks and my honors degree because honors is like one year so my my third year marks and my honors marks and then add them and then divided by the number of modules 
But, but, if you have an honors degree, they give you one point for that. So it's the average of the two years plus a point. You get it? So plus a point because you have another degree. So that's other way of upgrading your marks. And then if you have a master's degree, the two years is still like the same, the same method. And then they add two points for you. So on with a PhD, they also add three points for you. So guys, you can always upgrade your marks. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, make sure that you have those three modules I talked about that you can also do, do after if, even if you have finished your degree at UNISA or anywhere else. And then upgrade your marks. J, 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 you know. And then stay with me. Study with the webs. I mean, like, stay with me and study. What am I saying? Study the webs because I got you. I got you. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so, guys, yes. That's it, guys, for the video. So, if you have stayed this far, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, Um, thanks for watching. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Jay, like, like. And please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. To get into medicine. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.